How to Convert My Carrier Thermostat to Nest My name is I am happy to assist you today. Please read my entire reply before responding. Please provide as much information as possible about the situation to help me provide as accurate an answer as possible. Along the way you will receive an offer for a live phone call for an additional fee. We have some excellent experts who work by phone and if available one may be able to work with you by phone. I personally am not set up for accepting phone calls. The offer is optional and if you choose to work with another expert by phone, that is fine. I will still continue to help here and chat as long as needed with no time limit. Once you accept the offer you will be billed for the additional service of a live phone call and I have no control over billing or making other experts call you. So if you do not want to be billed the additional fee, do not accept or ask for a phone call. Tell me about every wire you have on old and where it connects. If you have APIC would be great. Here is a picture of my wiring. It's a new carrier system. Less than two years old. Trying to install the Nest Learning Thermostat. I was told by Nest Support we have a low voltage unit and would need an adapter to increase the voltage. I tried to call Flame Heating and Cooling and they didn't seem to know what I was talking about. Okay the thermostat you have is called a communicating thermostat with an interface module between it and furnace. There are two totally different types of thermostats. The current thermostat is what is considered a communicating thermostat where there are power wires and data wires only. The Nest is a conventional thermostat where each letter terminal controls a specific thing. XR is 24V power, G controls fan, W controls heat, Y controls compressor contactor, etc. If you can look inside your equipment, furnace or air handler and outdoor unit, and see if we have these extra R, G, Y, W, C etc. terminals then we can convert to a conventional thermostat but you will lose some of the efficiency and functions of the communicating system. Let me know and we can go from here if this is something you really want to do. Can you help me understand the pros and cons? I bought the Nest in hopes of being more energy efficient and then save money but I don't want to do anything that could damage our unit. The Infinity is a high-tech system. The communicating system, the Infinity, allows for a more consistent cooling and humidity control as the units actually talk to each other. I will explain. With the conventional thermostat, the thermostat only has capability of telling unit to come on when the temperature rises above the set point and then tells it to shut off when set point is reached. Basically like a light switch controlled by temperature. It either turns system on or leaves it off. Now I will compare that to the communicating thermostat. With the Infinity the thermostat, air handler and outdoor unit are like buddies talking back and forth. There are lights on boards in unit that flash constantly to let you know they are having a conversation if you please. Here is an example, home is at 80 degrees and 58% humidity. You set to 73 and 51%. Thermostat senses that and says OK guy, to air handler and condensers, we have to get busy here. So fan comes on in high speed mode and the compressor also jumps into second stage high gear to get the job done. After some time as temp drops to say 75, Thermostat senses we are getting close so he tells the outdoor condenser, Hey bud, you can back off to first stage now as we are approaching target set point. But relative humidity has not quite reached the lower 50s yet so he tells air handler. That the condenser is going to back off, but we need you to adjust the airflow just a few hundred RPMs and let's get this humidity in check too. In other words, 
The communicating thermostat has the ability to sense what is going on what is about to change and what needs to be done to reach and maintain what you as the homeowner is asking for. I guess I'm still not following. I need to better understand to know if it's worth it to try and install the Nest unit and change my current system. Okay think of it like this. Nest is simply a light switch that turns system on and off based on temperature. Does not work with a variable speed fan like most carrier high efficiency units use. The infinity speeds motors up, slows them down changes stages etc based on both humidity, temperature and your lifestyle and schedule. If you want to convert here is what I need pick of the interface module, pick of furnace control board and pick of wiring at outdoor unit. But first give me model on furnace so I can verify if we have a variable speed motor. If so, no need to even attempt as it will not work. Here's part of the thermostat. This is all I'm able to see of the unit. You will have to remove panels and take a pick of board. Should also be an interface module by furnace. Here's an outdoor pick. Inside one. Inside two. I don't need picks of the outside. I need picks of the control boards inside. I just sent two more picks of the wiring inside the boards. So far I have furnace board and thermostat grade. Still need interface module by furnace and pick of the outdoor unit board. I don't know what else to send. This is all I'm able to see. Okay making a drawing. Here's the manual I was able to find. Says it's a split system. Stand by. AC. Here you go. I haven't seen anything like that to reconnect wires. And I still want a better understanding on if it's worth tampering with. That drawing shows the nest, the board you sent a picture of in bottom of furnace, pick from carrier manual, and the outdoor, also from carrier manual. As far as understanding the difference not sure how else to explain other than basically tell you you are better off to keep what you have. The nest is a downgrade from the infinity. Okay, thank you. That's what I needed to know. Thanks. I am here if you need me. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.